Oh, we're loaded. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and to today's vlog. Westbound and down, we're loaded up and trucking to business. Took a break from the lease for a week, went down uh, to one of my old vacation spots with the fam down in Florida. Did a little chilling, relaxing with the family. The fishing sucked down there. I was gonna film some fishing videos and quickly realized they were letting out a lot of fresh water into the area we were at and it just made it tough. But did, did some chilling out with the fam, it was good. Nice little reset, but I come back and it's in the 30s, y'all. And it just got, it's got my hunt bug just tickling, gyrating. And it is time to get back on the hogs again. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've got uh, some upgraded stuff I'm going to show you guys. And uh, it's going to be a big week. I'm really hoping to get my dad LFD on a deer as well. So it's going to be an exciting couple videos coming up. Sorry it's wet out here, girls. Getting a little soggy. I put a little cover over that, that side so they can always have somewhere dry to go to. But... They've been just scratching around. Looks like a hog pen in here. Let's get you some bell peppers and some leftover Emmy sandwiches and some other stuff that's good for your immune system. So you girls aren't getting sick this cold and flu season. How about that? Yeah, just eat up. Check on the egg production today. There is a, there's a chicken in there. It looks like we got a brown egg. Sorry, Martha. I'm going to let you do your thing. Martha, ladies and gentlemen, has been laying some decent eggs. She had a problem with her gland, I guess. Um, it was something was pressing on her egg glands. Uh, it was an issue. Her eggs are still oblong. They're not, they're not like your typical oval eggs. She has like a dent in them, but it's no longer soft right there. It's, it's hard. So that, that's good news. So Martha is not going to be on the dinner table. She's just a healthy producing chicken in the Rackley roost. This is what I'm carrying to the ranch this week. So we can have some eggs. And we got, you know, we got a dozen eggs right there. So very nice, fresh, going to deer camp. Going to have some scrambies, maybe some deer sausages and all those delicious things. We're here after the travel. Bullet man here to join me. Um, we got a little work to do first. We uh, last time I was here, I got a deer. I got a nice cull buck. Sort of took the ATV through uh, the cactus areas, and uh, that's what we got right there. That's what happens. It is probably 35 degrees, legitimately. That is flat. It, it, yeah, I know. <laughs> Super flat. I got to slime it. I haven't even showed y'all really the the total digs inside, but uh, we might we might stay inside. If it gets really cold, I usually sleep outside here. This is old school, y'all. Talking about old cabin. Literally, look, somebody put some coals in here, like some briquettes <laughs> to heat the furnace. We can find some logs, put this thing in here. I'm, I'm assuming that there's like some sort of shaft in here that we need to yeah, do. There's a flute. What's been dripping down here? I don't know, but I went and got some wood from outside to try to dry it out. There is a ringtail cat living in this house as well. Is there really? This cat, yes. There's ringtail cats out There's a ringtail cat living in this house somewhere. You see it? Uh, everyone has seen it here. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, he's in here. One day we will show you guys the ringtail cat. I'm sure he'll show up. Maybe he will tonight if, it, uh, if it's cold. Um, I, last time I got a really nice buck, uh, cold buck here. Um, I gave it to Mullet Man because he does he does bleaching of skulls. You've been doing a lot of that here lately, bud. Big elves. I mean, you, you've been taking down the big games. Yeah. And uh, I'm anxious to see. You said you already got it done, so I'm anxious to see that. Do you see this dead head over here, by the way? Yeah, is that the one out of the pond? I don't. Uh, no, I don't think so, dude. The one out of the pond was a, a ten point. That is a ten. Point. Is it a ten point? Yeah. But it's antlers. Bro oh, okay. Yeah, it is. It's got to be. I thought they. I thought it had more mass. I, didn't, I don't remember that, that broken tie. That with no. It's got pedicles, but that's kind of cool. A euro mount with no. No, no pedi. It's got a pedi, a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> pedicure. Got pedicured. All right, let's look at a real euro mount. So normally I'll I'll boil it, pressure wash it, then I'll boil it again in the uh, peroxide. Yeah. And this time I tried the cream. Did cream. Pretty, did pretty like good the job. hair cream. Huh? Like, like what you normally use? Peroxide cream. Dye hair. Oh, dude, that does look pretty nice. 
Yes. We gotta touch up some spots, but that's easy. Yeah, it's not too bad, really. Yeah. Did a real nice job on the nose. Yeah. Got all that stuff clean, man. You gotta get all that nastiness out. Dude, that's a pretty nice cow block, don't you think? Mean, yeah, it'll look good on the wall. You won't even be able to tell the tell the little like, yellow yellow spots, you know? <laughs> That was a really nice deer. The fattiest deer I've ever shot in Texas. And um, so I have something else I need to admit to everybody. Some of you watching the videos may have picked up on this. I have picked up on a few things now editing these hunting videos. So it's after the fact. And I, I can't obviously include it while, um, while that video is going on. Because I'm realizing it after the fact. But uh, that eight point that you and I were sitting in the box blind and... I let go. I was like, ah, dude, that's that eight point from the other night. I don't know. Because it was far, it was much farther away. And I yeah. just assumed, like, yeah, that's the same eight point. Oh, it was a different eight point. I went back and I watched the video and I was like, uh, that's the same eight point that I saw at Gordo the other night when I was hog hunting. Yeah. I kind of like peeked over and I was like, ooh, there's a new big yeah. <laughs> There's a new big eight at the feeder. That's that same guy. And he's been traveling. Uh, a few hundred yards between between areas. He's another very similar buck Hopefully to we this get him one. Down tonight. So yeah, so you're gonna go hunt that stand tonight. So dude, yeah. if you can get Longbow. that buck, this guy was the dominant buck over there because I saw him push out that 11 and that other eight. Now that eight that you may be hunting tonight is the dominant one, and he's pushing all the other bucks out. So uh, two up. dominant eight point bucks uh, with. I don't know, you know, I feel bad saying poor genetics, but it's just like, yeah, poor you, genetics. you know, poor gen we're trying to manage the I mean, place. It's south central Texas. You can't expect, I got a picture Monsters. to show you though, off camera. Oh yeah. Some Mondos. <laughs> yeah. Here. Awesome job on that, dude. Appreciate it. We'll and, touch uh, it up a little bit more. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to build a little wooden mount to put that on. Beautiful back. Tires fixed, I think. We'll see how that slime stuff holds up. But next thing we gotta do is side in a new scope. <laughs> Look at this thing! We're getting serious on these hogs out here, y'all. This looks way more expensive than it, than it actually is. Um, I picked up this scope because it records video. This is made by ATN. It's got a, a rangefinder on the front as well uh, for all those that are curious this is the five to five by twenty it's the Excite 4k so this takes 4k video which is really cool here on this channel I've used a couple of thermal scopes before I think they were made by Pulsar that recorded video and it was really neat I put it on my channel and I thought that that's so awesome and I found this scope on Amazon uh, that was 700 bucks which is like you know, half the cost or a third of the cost than a lot of uh, really nice optics out there. It's a really funny thing about glass it is with, with cameras too. You know, like the, the lens I'm using on my camera right now, usually the glass is just as much, if not more, than the actual camera or gun itself, which is, it's kind of a bummer. You know, when you get a really nice camera, you get a, a really nice rifle and you're like really excited and like, hey, and then you go look at optics, you're like, oh my goodness so expensive but anyway this this was a pretty good deal i, I thought especially because it records video we're going to see how it performs though it does do some night vision it needs an assisted um infrared light that also mounts on here so that's another thing you got to add on this is going on my 68 spc which is uh my hog rifle i got a few years back and basically for hogs and predators this is what i'm going to be using out here so we're gonna slap this thing on here. Supposedly, this is easy to operate. We'll see uh, for, with a dumb dumb like myself how easy it is. And I'm hoping to sight this thing in within a few shots. The weather out here, y'all. Oh my gosh, my hands are freezing right now. It's freezing. But that is actually a good thing because the hog should be moving throughout the day. Uh, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, we're probably going to see a lot more action than, than just the typical right uh, in the morning, or right at dark, and then at night. Now, I'm an old man, I don't want to stay out all night, hunt hogs, I want to get them during the day, you know, sleep at night. Sometimes that's just how you have to do it, but let's put this on and let's see if it actually works. Phew, y'all. It is colder than a witch's nippies out here. 
I've definitely taken a few practice shots, more than a few. I've taken 10. It's not as easy as it as it looks. Um, kind of found the, uh, the sighting in part a little more difficult. Oh, all right, cool. We're recording. So what we're gonna do now is uh, take a couple of gong shots and just see how the how the scope is at 100. I've sighted in at 50. Tried 100 at first. Didn't really work out too good. All right, where are you going? Left. Gong. All left on? Yep. All right. Ready to see this action? Yep. Right in the middle. All right, I'm gonna shoot this can to the left. Yeah. Just high and left. Mm, I need to get behind you. Oh boy. I think you were just over it. Do I need to shoot the gong again? Yeah. Shoot the right one. The right one, okay. I mean, that one was dead. That's dead center. Felt like I smoked that one, yeah. Yeah, I marked where the holes were. Yeah. I feel like it's on. I just probably barely missed the can. Yeah. All right. We'll That's a dead that. pig for sure. Yeah. You need to get out there. I'm ready? Is that what you're wearing? I'm sitting in a box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look like a <sighs> Here we go, fire it up, baby. Thank you. 
kitchen mold man. Eat good. So back from the sit, Mike, you did not see cows. You just saw cows. Very surprised, dude. And you're mixing yeah. up some heart right now. This is fresh, elk. This is elk heart. Fresh elk heart. I will tell you guys. Um, probably don't eat raw liver. I did do it in Africa. I escaped. I think without worms. But that's where a lot of bad things that go through the body are processed, you know, like your adult beverages and, you know, other things like that. <laughs> I thought I had worms for a while. I don't, I don't think, but it just turns out I had some bad chicken wings from uh, a place up in uh, Buffalo, New York. I'm going to show you guys these photos off this card and hopefully we got something tasty on there. Big group of does. Ooh, look at that old doe right there. She's got a little saggy brisket. A little uniboob. So we got a buck, some sort of buck. I wonder if this is one of those that we saw tonight. This might be one of those eight points. Yeah, this is him. This is definitely the guy that uh, was kind of dominating. He's a short stacker, four-year-old probably. Um, starting to get a big neck, chest, shoulders. Right, Speaking of big neck and shoulders. Your first taste of heart. You did a little bit of flour. You used one of our eggs from the treehouse. Got this thing about a week ago? No, like four days ago. Four, four days ago. Did you let that heart rest a little bit? On ice, baby. On ice. Okay, cool. Mike had a really great trip with um, his dad and his, uh, his brother-in-law. They, they all got elk, so you guys should go check out those videos up close and personal elk hunting and it's so good i might have to go there next year buddy oh man that is tender i i think it's similar to liver quite honestly but this is this the texture is better yeah. it's like a it has it's not a, like a nasty texture it's no. like tender tender squish yeah but does, like a spongy spongy that's that's what i'm looking for spongy but really really good guys never tried the heart thank you mike that was, that was pretty cool. Here's Mr. Crab. <laughs> Funky one brow Crabby McGee. Oh, he needs to, he needs yeah. To. He's an interesting one. <laughs> He's kind of wild. Piggies. Man, the piggies were here hard and heavy this morning. Then we got, looks like short stack there. Definitely don't want to shoot him. <laughs> don't want to shoot him. He might be a tasty one. I have to go one more year. Yeah. What'd you say, dinner, y'all? And uh, we got out there, Mike put some corn out earlier, and turns out there's a couple of pigs right there, so we're gonna take the old unit. The fog's really bad, we're not gonna be able to see very far, but uh, we'll give it a whirl. There's two pigs. I, I can't see him at this point. It's it's uh, he, he's behind the tree. 
the mic can see him with the thermals. <laughs> that, that pig is having a bad night right now. <laughs> you got him. You got him. Peggy has been hit. The audio is pretty good on here too. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna sign it off here today. I um, verdict on the scope is pretty cool, man. Looking at the white tail, uh, looked really crisp during the day, and then the nighttime mode looked really good. Um, I'm still the verdict's out on like the performance of everything. I th I don't have this dialed. I don't have the yardage dialed. I'm I'm honestly not even sure. It, th this scope does something where it calculates, recalculates your shot according to. Uh, the ballistics calculation so if it thinks it's 160 yards it it might adjust things you know when that pig was at 30 yards uh, so I gotta work with that I gotta practice that verdict still out but I'm gonna give it give it a little more testing definitely wouldn't feel confident taking a, a nice white tail with it right now but just doing some pig on playing around pretty good stuff and in my humble opinion I would say it was worth the money just to be able to have another camera on board on the rifles and get these types of shot shots at night at distance. Uh, we'll have to push it out a little bit farther and see what it does at 100 yards, 200 yards at night. And uh, one of our plans out here at the lease, we have a feeder about 250 yards behind us and we want to stick a hog light on there and uh, be able to check that while we're here you know, go into bed in early morning and, and um, see if we can get some hogs. Uh, they're everywhere out here. They've, they've been a problem and um, they, they're well populated. Thank y'all for tuning in today. We're still gonna try to get LFD on a deer over the next couple days and it's cold. It's cold y'all, so animals are gonna be moving. So stay tuned. We'll see y'all on the next one.